You want to dig straight down right here. You just don't know it yet. And I haven't built a reason for you to yet. So let's get on that. My plan is to make a bunch of different layers. And then as you go down, it gets more and more worth it to keep digging straight down. You'll see what I mean. We're starting off with coal. I wanted it to be kind of rugged. I didn't want it to look too nice or pristine. The, my first challenge was lighting it all up. It's not a huge room, but it's just big enough to where it's kind of annoying to light up the centers and then the corners and stuff like that. I wanted to make a cave within the cave. So this is one of the areas, if you were digging straight down, this is a place where you could gather a lot of coal. I did mix in a couple other blocks other than just coal, just to make it look a little more artsy, I guess. I mean, it's not all useful. I think there's like deep slate bricks in there. So not all of it's coal, but you know, it's for the aesthetic. Next on the list, I wanted to actually make a parkour course. I don't ask me why I don't know for some reason this whole thing it didn't start this way but I kind of wanted to almost be like a dungeon that you have to like work your way through honestly this is the only one with any sort of challenge in it so that theme didn't really stay true but as you can see if you jump on all those then you get a couple chests at the end and then this is the point where I was really struggling because it looks boring I don't know there's just one color everywhere so I made the floor bricks instead and I was like okay I can add shape with these slabs everywhere but it still looks really boring so then I whip out the leaves <laughs> and I'm gonna just put leaves literally everywhere this is kind of my solution to anything when I can't figure out why it's not looking good I just put leaves everywhere I also just use world edit to make the stone not just stone textured because that's a little boring the first cave I did I pretty much just copied it on all the other caves so that way they all look uniform I almost want to play this in survival to see how much coal there actually is because I have this feeling that there's not as much coal as I think there is. I added a lot of coal in those chests above the parkour course so hopefully that's sufficient. The last part of this is me just refining things, making sure everything looks good. Other than that, we're going to move on to the next one now. Next on our list was iron. Uh, I didn't really know which direction to go. The first thing I thought of was sci-fi. The problem with sci-fi is that usually that's made out of really expensive blocks and then I was like, well, it's only the second layer. I don't want to like dish out all the goods one layer down. I ended up just going with it anyway, but instead of using too many expensive blocks, I tried to lean more on the concrete because it's expensive, but it's not that bad and it still looks modern and stuff like that. For some reason, when I was building this, portal kept coming into my mind. I don't know why because the game portal is not really dominantly white. I just wanted it to look really sci-fi. My original idea was to have a maze behind the glass that you had to like solve to get to that center box. I ended up just not doing that because it was making it too big and also I just didn't want to overcomplicate it too much. We made it simple so instead of doing all of that I ended up just putting the iron behind that glass. You'll see that a little later. I really like this building and I think it looks really unique compared to the other builds you'll see later in this video but I would say I really struggled adding detail to it because I find with modern buildings they're so clean and if you add too much detail then it just looks crowded or it just doesn't look modern at all and now I'm addressing the ceiling because the ceiling was not working I could not find a design that didn't look like crap I just settled on this one I think it looks a little better than what I had though it kind of just looks like a giant ceiling fan I just noticed that now and I can't unsee it so I like the pops of yellow I think it makes it look a little more interesting if you go in this dungeon which doesn't exist and you want to mine out all this iron you totally can but I do include these chests at the bottom I'm about to place them in that contain like hundreds of blocks of iron so and then to get to the next layer you're gonna go in the doors at the bottom there and then dig down again the next one we have redstone I'm gonna be honest this one goes by pretty fast it wasn't my favorite level but maybe some of you guys will like it comment down below which level is your favorite I'm kind of curious now this is a door from mumbo jumbo because I I am very rusty at redstone. I forgot all about it. So I use this tutorial. Go watch it. You probably have already, but watch it again. Anyways, after I'm done making that door, it's going to go to a little secret room, but then I decided that half of this building would be just an open room. I just was going all in on the red theme. It actually ended up looking a little more, not like a house, but it, it looked a little more casual than what I was going for, but I guess it's like a fun contrast between this and the iron building right above because it's kind of intense looking. It's just not my favorite. It, it looks a little messy to me because I was trying to do the speckled block thing, but I don't know if the blocks, like especially on the red wall, I don't know if the blocks were like close enough in color to make it not look dumb, 
you guys can decide. What do you guys think? The one thing I am really proud of that I really shouldn't be because it's Mumbo's building. I did not build this door. When you go through, maybe you're done exploring the room in there. When you flick the lever, it's gonna, this door is going to open and there's going to be like more loot in this area. So this last level, I'm going to call the expensive level. I don't really know how to describe it, but I was going to do individual layers for every single ore, but I thought that would get kind of repetitive. So I just kind of grouped all the expensive looking ores at the end. I know I missed copper, but sorry. Did you really want to see it? Did you really? If you did, I'm sorry, but I didn't make it. This, I wanted it to look like royal but at the same time casual because i figured if i went too grand with it first of all there was a ravine under this that i did not want to tap into so i couldn't make it too tall and it's hard to make a building look grand when it's kind of short like the ceilings aren't super tall almost like a royal kingdom's basement if that makes sense here i added like a cool like crest it, it don't look, ignore the first design it totally looked great all right this crest kind of looks like the thing from minecraft story mode that they use to like find stuff anyway Anyways, this part is sped up really fast because I kept just going back and deleting and placing and deleting and placing. Also, I added netherite blocks because they don't like pop out at you like, whoa, I'm expensive. But if a player like came down here, it'd be cool to find that much netherite. Lastly, the floors were looking a little boring. So I added a fish pond. I, I was going to make it all diamond down there. Ended up not working. So now we're going to take a tour and actually dig straight down through all of these layers. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this in survival or creative, but I I guess I'm doing it in survival. So we're gonna dig straight down. So we're at the first level. Oh my God, okay. I really peaked at this first level. I like it so much more than the other ones. I don't actually have a pickaxe to mine all of these. I do believe I put pickaxes up there. Am I wrong? Guess we got a parkour to find out. Uh, oh no, my parkour skills. Please don't judge me. I don't even know if I can do my own course. That would be really embarrassing. <gasps> no, that didn't happen. One more time, first time. Mm. Uh, uh Oh my, okay, so clearly I did not test my own parkour thing. It's like embarrassing when you, ah! it's embarrassing when you can't do parkour and it's even more embarrassing if you're the one who made the course. Ju I think I might have to jump this way because th this block is going to get in the way. Oh my God, I did it. Okay, geez. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it comes with pickaxes. All right, now time for the next layer. So I believe this one, it cuts you off. So yes yes so you can't go down anymore because you're supposed to like come down the stairs and like get all the stuff that you would want i guess and then when you're done you've kind of looted the place then you can come down here and go to the next level there's really not much to see in here so i think we're just gonna move on going into the redstone area i'm gonna save this door for the end and just i mean this room is so tiny i don't like this room like it's fine it's not bad I totally filled those chests, you saw nothing. So you open up this door that I <clears throat> totally invented all by myself and you can just you just have redstone components. And I just realized these aren't even, I should have put like observers in here because those are actually hard to get. Anywho, we're gonna move on. So this is the last layer. Oh, it's so cool like actually mining all the way through though. I don't know if that's just me. Those are totally filled with things, all right? Clearly, we've been transported into Minecraft story mode. Honestly, you could just destroy all this and like get a bunch of like resources and stuff. You got some nice fish that don't know how to swim. And clearly, this place is kind of decked out with a bunch of stuff you could mine. Anyways, if you like this video, please... Oh, no, I'm not asking to like and subscribe. Do it on your own. Okay, these are the members. Uh, thank you so much to them. I'll see you next time. Bye!